Here I am at the Ottawa Outdoor Travel what, what, Show. What's it called now? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, outdoor. I don't know. Outdoor, Ottawa outdoor. Travel Tours? No. Travel. The Outdoor Show. In Ottawa. Having to do out with outdoor things. Can we go over to the bug shelter? Yeah, Someone for get, sure. It's the new. No, no bug zone. Yes, it's new. It is. For sure. What's new about it? This is a new no bug zone. So it is actually taking our uh, VCS uh, system and uh, combining it. So the VCS system was a tarp system that you could clip the mesh to underneath. So this one actually has a built-on mesh. So it actually is reducing the amount of material, so it makes it smaller, light, lighter weight, um, and it actually gives you a bigger footprint inside. We used to have a VCS 16 and a VCS 13. So this you're actually getting the smaller tarp, but you have the same square footage as the VCS 16. So you're actually getting a lot more usable space for a smaller pack size. So how 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 heavy is it? You know, I don't know. Yeah, we could we could check it out. Yeah, one, uh, one yeah, stuff. The specs should always be on here. Notice how Ian does not know his product. <laughs> Do you notice that? Yeah. He's a sales rep for this company and doesn't. Oh, he's looking terrible. at a box. That's, a, that's my memory retention. I think it's part of the age. So Let, let's just say it's smaller than the other one. You know what's funny? Yeah. Zero Middle pounds. What? <laughs> so the weight's not what even the? on there. Why? Why? What? what, what oh. the? All right, cut. This is going badly. <laughs> we can't have this. It doesn't look take like it's going at all. Take two. Take <laughs> two. Look at that. So. Oh, it's five pounds. pounds, eight ounces. Yeah. yeah. So in so, the Eureka beautiful. catalog, it does say five pounds. Yes. So yes. Beautiful. Right. Thank you very much, Captain. Okay. Well, that was that was tough. I don't, I'm not, that, tough for both I'm of us. I'm not going to ask you another question. <laughs> These people are buying something, but I don't think they talk to these salespeople. Did you hear what happened? No. Well, what are you buying? Behind the screen. Oh, you're behind the screen. Okay, so on the box, it actually says it's zero pounds. Zero pounds. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, so the other five, point, it doesn't. 2.65 kilo. <laughs> oh, never well, mind. It's all going badly. This whole interview is just terrible. But maybe 2.65 kilograms is zero pounds. I it don't know be. what the exchange rate is. <laughs> oh look, I found him. It's Jim Barry, he's a very small man. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's bear. Oh, sorry. Okay, now I heard during your presentation you made someone leave. Yeah, I uh, I was trying to show a first aid video that was of me treating a really bad burn on my hand, and a guy sat down who was eating something and he just kind of left really quickly. It was kind of gross. Was I can't there, really blame him. Was there ketchup on a sandwich? Or? Uh, no, but if there was, <laughs> I don't know. It might not have lasted so long. Burns and me cutting off pop blisters and yeah, not the prettiest. So is this the first time presenting here? Yes, it is. <laughs> and it might be the last now. I don't know. So this man here, Jim, he's gone on amazing adventures in the north, uh, solo uh, with, a, with his uh, girlfriend, and soon to be wife. Soon to be wife, yeah. that's right. She's still Holy with me jump. after our last connection, yeah, yeah, which is amazing. It. So is it true that if you go outing with uh, your girlfriend, that's the best way to test uh, the marriage? Or You know, I'm going to go ahead and say yes. I'm going to say yes, because it's either, uh, it's either you get along or you don't. And we, for the most part, get along out there. So I must be right, because if you can deal with yourselves in the most stressful situations, well, the rest of the life's going to be a little easier, because life's not going to be easy either, right? And uh, right beside me, we also have uh, the radio canoe guy. Paddling Adventures Radio. That's me. We actually hosted the Real Paddling Film Festival last week, I guess. and guest presenter for one of the films, two of the films, was Jim Baird. Apparently I did really well. We might have him back next year. We might. We might have you back next year. Oh wait, you haven't been yet. We'll have you there next year. We know how to lure him there. I have to do something with my hand, obviously. Get some terrible injury and show it in front of everybody and let everybody leave. Anyway, there you go. That's Jim. Hi, <laughs> found her. The other, the other part of Jim, the important part, and I'm going to get her perspective on the trip. So he said you guys got along really well on the trip, and that's why um, you guys are getting married. We get along when he's not yelling at me, I guess. <laughs> we get along really well, except for when we don't. I trusted him too much, I think, the first time. The first trip I ever bought. We're getting around. the real truth here. You can tell <laughs> between the two of them, it's like, yeah, that didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you tell me uh, the one big misadventure that he had that he's never really told the public yet. 
that he's had. Yeah. Uh, like, does he have consistent bowel movements out there? <laughs> he's a lactose intolerant, I don't know if you know that. An adventure and he insists in bowel on eating, movements. bringing cheese, and we always have cheese every day. So that's probably more Jory, information that's than embarrassing. you need to know. <laughs> God. No, yeah, we get. Funny, oh, true. he's a great wild adventurer, but he's lactose intolerant and eats cheese on trips. Yeah, because I just don't care, you know? It is what it is. It is what it is, people. Yeah. <laughs> Tori, that's an embarrassing story. Don't feed him fondue. You know, the first the first <laughs> trip I ever took Tori on, we dumped running a waterfall in April where there was chunks of ice washing down the river. It was like the Scudamata. And we ran a waterfall, which was the last <laughs> part to a class three raging canyon. I didn't have a dry suit on, but I was smart enough to give her my dry suit, which you can imagine was a little big. Uh, but, you know, if she could survive that, she could survive anything. So if you want your significant other to go on a canoe trip, probably you shouldn't whip her into a whitewater run in April. Uh, uh, did he ask you during a trip? No, he actually took me to Jamaica. Jamaica, yeah. Yeah, so the one all-inclusive vacation we've been on in four and a half years. Yeah, so sweet. Well, I spent four months under canvas last year. So, and the last one, it was a long stint and I was away from her. So I figured when I get back, I'm going to take her to Jamaica. And she'll never expect it because she probably expected me to like propose at like Wilberforce Falls or something like that. But it was Jamaica, so it was a surprise. I was a little nervous, though, to be honest with you. Because what if she says no, you know? Did you get stoned on the beach? Yeah, I was uh, well, you know, off the record, <laughs> or on the record, uh, cut. No, absolutely not. It's legal there, though, just for that. That's true there. It's legal now. He didn't get dread. No, man. No dread. No red dread, man. That's what happens at the Ottawa Adventure Travel, whatever show we're That's calling it. That's what happens when you smoke that Jamaican, you start talking it, you know? It's, it's crazy. <laughs> cut. <laughs> now I'm back with Ian. Hey! Because uh, uh, Ian also uh, um, uh, reps for uh, Jetboil. Jetboil. Yes, now can you tell us uh, anything new about Jetboil? Uh, and not looking at any catalog. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you, you know my memory retention by now, so. Uh, new. Well, we have a couple new products that are coming out very shortly. I can show you in the catalog. The first, uh, the first one is actually uh, the first time that Jetboil is doing uh, a non-stove system. So most of the Jetboil that in the past have all been full systems uh, where you have your cooking vessel and the burner and the fuel all fit right inside your vessel. Uh, the Mighty Mo um, is the first time that uh, it's just the stove head. So it comes uh, in a little bag with the stove head and the support stand. Uh, this is it's 10,000 BTU. It's, a, it's the coolest little uh, thing on the market. So it's 10,000 BTU. It has a regulator, so it helps to regulate the pressure out of the canisters. And it also has the most simmer control. Um, that's a, a, the whole Mo family. Uh, the Mighty Mo, the Micro Mo, the Mini Mo, the Sumo, all have the same uh, system where it has the most simmer control of uh, any single burner stoves on the market. Um, and then it also has electronic ignition. So it has all these points all in one cool little burner head. Um, so the Mighty Mo is uh, one of the new things and then also the half gen is uh, oh, that's coming this. out. Or no, that's um, it's ha well, half of that. <laughs> that is the full gen, the full Genesis system. So it's a two burner stove, which actually will fold in half uh, and nest inside the five liter pot. And then the uh, ceramic uh, fry pan uh, nests on top as well. So, so these are all propane driven, where the traditional jet oil stoves are the isobutane, the canister stoves. Um, and then all the, uh, the half gen and the Genesis are all propane operated. So really good for the campground. So uh, campground, but you can, uh, even for group camping, um, you know, if you have a large group, um, you know, the total gear, it all packs up into a nice padded case, whatever. So I've canoe camped with this uh, down the French River. And then all the propane systems here, all the half gen, uh, the Genesis, and even the two uh, stoves that we have under the Eureka brand, uh, the two burner camp stoves, um, they all have the capability of having uh, a side burner, the Luna, who will actually plug right into them. And so you actually then create a third, you know, three burners. Um, which I like when I use this we were doing you know all their cooking on the two burners and the side Luna was going almost the whole time with our coffee our tea our dishwater and then the other cool thing with all these is you can actually link them all together so this is a jet link hose so they actually uh, you can link multiple stoves so either the Eureka Spire stoves um, or um, or the Genesis or the half gen all have the capability of being linked together um, and you can get that that same attachment for uh, a propane hose a 20 pound hose to attach them to a barbecue tank as well so yeah either campground to full 
you know, you know, backwoods camping as well. Ian now is going to tell you what happened when I borrowed his uh, his jet boil <laughs> last year. And I think they both came back with the covers, which are on here to help protect the flux ring system. And they were both like melted to smithereens. So put onto a stove before taking them off. So is that right? <laughs> he said, I think you did one of them, and your friend uh, yeah, did the other Steve one. Yeah, so. did the first. Yeah. I did the second one. Yeah. And I yeah. said, to, and he said to me before, he goes, "Look, I'll let you boil them and make sure you don't do this." But I don't think you would. <laughs> but I did. Who are you? My name's Erin Drage. You just uh, gave a in inspirational talk. What was that all about? <laughs> My talk was really about how we need to use our natural spaces and wilderness places in Canada as our educational platforms and as our classrooms instead of being stuffed up inside all day. You also are running this, are starting this program, this cultural program. What's that about? Yeah, so I'm starting a project called Trails in Tandem and it's all about cross-cultural connections in nature. It's about getting Indigenous and non-Indigenous youth together in a natural setting to explore how we connect with each other and how we connect with nature. It was inspired by my first trip up to the Northwest Territories and I realized how lucky we are, we are to have this amazing natural and cultural heritage in Canada and it's, it's not being taken advantage of and it's not being shared as much as it should be so we wanted to start this project to offer people the opportunity to really get out there and connect. I'm about to graduate from my bachelor degree at Queen's University and I'm, I'm off to do big things hopefully out in nature. <laughs> so let me get this straight, so you basically you learn more out in the woods than you have in school and you actually think that more younger people should be getting out there. Absolutely. I, I was saying that in the four years that I've been in my undergraduate degree, I have learned so much more being outside and being immersed in nature, climbing mountains, hiking in the woods, than I have in the classrooms. And I think that's something that everybody my age should be able to take advantage of. See, we can have hope. We're good.